yours. <laughs> if I'm asking you, look at mine. All right. Here we are. Okay. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Peter. How's it going? What's up, man? <laughs> Good to see you again. Wait, where are we? We're in uh, Shin Osaka. Shin Osaka. Wait, is that in uh, Little Tokyo in L.A.? No, it's in Japan. Japan. Holy shit. <laughs> and it's New Osaka, yes? New Osaka, that's Shin correct. Osaka. Shin is new. I did so, learn something while I was here. Awesome, man. It's it's nice to see you again. Good to see you too, man. Really, it's been since LA. Yeah, that was October 15th, 2022. And wait a second. I didn't quite know you at that time. No, no. I knew who you were. I assumed you knew who I was, but you didn't know who I was. Wait, how did, how did you know me again? Just from Twitter. Just from interacting on Twitter a little bit. Okay. And uh, I came up to you, I'm like, hey, I'm Ryan here. You're like, all right. <laughs> What's up? What's <laughs> but up, then man? We didn't talk for a while. But it was it was cool. Uh, yeah. We, we've done a couple of interviews back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to uh, you and, and uh, Nick's. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't know. We've been, you and I have been sharing a lot of music on Twitter. Yeah. Kind of going back and forth, discovering new bands. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, we both love Bandmade, and that's sort of what the reason why we actually know each other. Right. Yeah. But um, there's something magical about <laughs> going out there and finding that, that uh, new band. Yeah. Because that was Bandmade for a lot of people. Right. And, right. Uh, they're vets yeah. now. Yeah, they're 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 old veterans now, and there's a whole lot of new bands that there's too many to kind of keep to almost keep track of. Yeah, but uh, there's a few that I know should be they should be bigger. Right. I got to see while I was here. Yeah, who who did you see when you were here? Let's see, Asterism and uh, Silken Minaru and Sai Sega. Who do you think should be the biggest out of those three? Oh, that is unfair. Who 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 do you just like? Where does your heart go? If, if I'm honest, are you a me, polygamist? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all three equally. They're so different. I could put them on their own stands. Okay. But I think uh, Sokan Inari was probably the, one of the most singularly impressive shows I've ever seen. Yeah. From a, te a technical standpoint and yeah. a quality standpoint, yeah. just next level, they should be world famous. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think so, man. Because You're making me want to listen to them more. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. I'm going to go home tonight. Put on Because everything you hear, they do live. And that's what, it's a three-piece band. Mm. <laughs> it's insane. But, you know, Sai Sega was on kind of their own level with Regan. Uh, the, I don't know, the charisma she has and how she can control the crowd yeah. and keep them involved was pretty amazing to see. I think my, my wife and son are both there and they're both pretty impressed with the band and they hadn't really heard anything by them before. Okay. It was kind of their first introduction to them was seeing them live. Yeah. How crazy would that, would that be? Yeah. <laughs> How crazy was that? It was intense. <laughs> I felt like I was being compelled. <laughs> compelled. I heard since I say here, because you were playing it before. Yeah. But that was my first time I actually Hear more than a few, yeah, several yeah. songs. Yeah. yeah it's, it was incredible. Yeah, I mean, you know, I discovered Sai Sega in January. Didn't get to see them. Saw them last month and then earlier this month. And it's just, uh, it's just, it's such a brutal, brutal and beautiful, I feel like. Brutal and beautiful. You and had, you had a, a revealing video you made about uh, Sai Sega and Regan. <laughs> I think we all know you a little too, too much now, maybe from that video. Ah. <laughs> Re Regan, mm, what 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 is this video rated? <laughs> no, um, 
But man, she's something special. I uh, like you said. You said captivating. I think on a on a twit. Yeah, twit, yeah. twit on a twit on a tw on the Twitter on a tweet on the <laughs> on the tweet tweets <laughs> on the Twitter box. Uh, and I think it was a absolutely. beautiful. What do I say? It was brutal, beautiful, and captivating. Something like that. It was mm. the only way I could sum up their performance. Yeah. Um, and I just I love their sound. Yeah. I love their sound, and, I, and again, it is like you said. It's like it, it's like Regan would be uh, no. It sounds weird, but the, the modern day Moses parting the Red Sea is just like <laughs> you know. I mean, she she just sways and moves the crowd. Yeah, you know, oh, she yeah. just takes over. No, that was great. And they have a, uni a unique this from Wakun, uh, the guitarist from his attack. Was it super heavy, but he has a, a way of playing leads that it kind of harkens back to some uh, Steve I, Joe Satriani kind of stuff, mm. which you don't get a lot with some of mm. these bands. And it is the crowd loved him, man. When he would play, everybody surged Rush. over towards towards them to watch him play. It was pretty awesome. And I guess I, I was expecting that, you know. I've had old men crawl on my back to just <laughs> get up in front of Waku and it'd be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he definitely has his fans. He <laughs> yeah, definitely he has his fans for sure. Yeah. Um, so you've been here for three weeks now. Two, yeah, two weeks. Oh, two weeks. And two you're weeks. heading back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, do you wish you could stay longer and see more bands? Stay longer, see more bands? Yes. That would be, that's like a reason to come back for me. Is I want to come back, I want to see more bands. Yeah. Who would you want to see? Well, let's say, let's say you had like three more weeks and you could see maybe five more bands. No, okay, that's a little specific, but like some bands you'd want to see. Uh, uh, Hades. Hades. Fate Gear. Fate Gear. Gungare. Mm. Uh, Hanabie, if they're going to be around, I want to mm. see them super bad. Um, who else? I don't know. I want to just discover some more bands too. Yeah. You know? What? You don't want to see band made? Well, obviously, I want to see band made. Kanami. <laughs> That's a given, man. Everybody knows that. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, no, you know, um, I had just started really trying to get out and see other bands recently too. And yeah. um, it kind of stoked. Stoked the flame and some embers that hadn't really been stoked for a while, and so yeah, it's like you just want to get out there, you know. And like for me, I want to see these bands, and if they're great, I want to promote them. I want the world to know about them. Yeah, you're, you're getting involved with some bands, with some uh, local talent, yeah. trying to help them out. Yeah, like beyond just the the Twitter box, because you're, yeah, you're talking to them personally. I am talking to them personally. That's cool. I am talking to them personally. So, it's, um, you know, it's like when I fell in love with Bandmade, uh, I probably did more PR work for them than their own management did. <laughs> yeah. You know, back in the day. And, uh, yeah. yeah. The, the links that I would go to, and I was like, I don't need to be paid for this because I love this band and I want people to know about them, you know. So and you just, it, I just love creating for them. So what you're saying is bandmate is as big as they are because of the work you put in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's incredible. I put, I put the maid in bandmate. <laughs> and <laughs> please do not shoot and shit all over me in the comments. Please know that I joke around like an idiot <laughs> all the time. Who knew? <laughs> now we know the real reason. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I mean... It's it's great to see you. It's great that you got to experience all these bands here. I wish we could have gone to a show together. That would have been yeah, awesome. I didn't think we were going to get to meet up, so it was cool. True, true. I, I really tried. I got to see you at least once while you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks uh, for reaching out. Yeah, because I figure you're probably busy. Yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy couple of weeks, man. But what you saw is uh, you've been very efficient at getting us to see as much as we could possibly see. Mm. I can't thank him enough. Mm. But, but you'll yeah, try. I will try. You will try. I will try. But it's been an amazing trip. Uh, all it did was leave me wanting to come back. 
yeah. experience more. Yeah. So I need to find excuses and money. Oh. <laughs> Patreon? <laughs> that helps a lot. <laughs> Patreon. I would say I'd love to uh, get some Patreon fans to help me out to get to Japan, but I live here. So maybe you can help me get back to the States. We wouldn't know who Bandmaid was. (laughs) Throw him a bone, folks. (laughs) You owe me big time, world. (laughs) Again, please don't (laughs) shit all over me in the comments. Please. Uh, Yeah, so I finished work today. Um, I contacted Ryan, was it yesterday? Today. Yeah, yes, last night, I think. Tried getting in touch with him today. And yeah, uh, yeah. we're at a ramen shop across the street from his hotel. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, um, I always feel like our talks are too short. It does feel like that. I, I, you're one of the well, people. Well, the problem is we, we spend an hour and a half off camera and then like 10 minutes on camera. Yeah. So. I, yeah. But I mean, you're one of those people that I genuinely enjoy like having a conversation with. Thank you. And um, I feel like there's an un- understanding musically, and I-, I think some sort of like philosophical perspective of life that I feel like connects us, I love you, or, man. or something like that, man. I still do. But yeah, no, I mean, I it's an easy conversation. Yeah, I mean, we can go back and forth, and we have and. Oh, by the way, there's some random white guy walking by here. <laughs> Don't even know who he is. You're not is. even old enough to be in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, again, glad to see you. Uh, are Let's you going to be in Anaheim or for the bandmate show? Uh, looking at Minneapolis. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I don't know when I'll see you next time. I don't know, man. Well, there will at be, least in person. There will be a next time, though. <laughs> for sure for sure um the next time you're here we'll try to catch a show together yes um that will be the uh the primary objective is to see some shows yeah and if you're doing that then you know i'll be out there too and uh we should have a good time cool um yeah hang out with some some bands and uh interview them <laughs> interview them all if you could interview one band like right now who would you want to interview? Other than Band Maid? Other than Band Maid. You're welcome, Ryan. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way right he now. He caught that. He caught that. Uh, I think because what... I don't know. Again, my, my first thought is, is so can you know, Okay. Because I want to... I just recently saw an interview they did oh, about a year ago mm. and learned a little bit about their process and I would love to to learn more about their musical process. Because mm. Juco kind of writes, he does what Konami does. He writes everything and yeah. presents it to the mm. other members. Mm. But I I think Science would be super fun to mm. talk to. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You? How about you? You've been talking to some bands? Or you yeah, to- you know, I mean, if you guys have been following Eminem for uh, recently, you guys know that I've been promoting Hades a lot. Um, I was really taken by their music video, the song, watching them, and um, yeah, the members are great. Uh, you know, I was taken especially by Mayo, the drummer. She just smiled and she's intense the whole yeah, time, and yeah. she's like a party in one. And um, but yeah, getting to know because I just interviewed Tala, the lead singer, because she's doing a solo uh, tour. She has her album out today, uh, Rock On, and. It's um, it's cool, like talking with her. Her process, she doesn't really play instruments, so she basically has her band members as they're playing. She kind of like orchestrates and guides them, and wow. she creates melodies with what she has. But it's weird because, like for me, you know, when when I used to write songs, I would like put the chords down or hum something and have yeah. like an instrument to work with. But for her, she's just got melodies in her head. She doesn't, she doesn't, really maybe, maybe she hears chord progression. She's like, oh, maybe that's what that's not it. But um, hearing that, I was like, that's wow, so cool. Yeah. But for me too, like, like you were saying, like the whole process of creating, like that mm-hmm. fascinates me so much. Yeah. It's different for everybody. Yeah. I, I, I've learned from talking to some musicians is you eventually hear the same thing from everybody. Mm-hmm. 
but it's always a different process. They all go through maybe it's a melody first, it's the guitar first, it's the lyrics first, but you know, right. it's fun watching musicians trying to explain yeah. how it works. Right. <laughs> and it, it's and a, it's, it is different, like for the same artist. Yeah. Because, you know, you've written songs, and, and I have written songs as well, but it's like sometimes you hear a beat, sometimes you hear a bass line, yeah. sometimes you hear like a riff, sometimes you hear just anything, like a melody or yeah. like words come to you. And Somebody can say a sentence to you and you're like, that's, that'd be a great song. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, you search for a song to fit that narrative. You mm -hmm. know, just... Like I've actually heard a completely different melody from a song that was playing, but it filtered through the door differently and I heard it differently. Yeah. And I was humming, so I was like, oh. And then I realized, oh, wait, it's this song. You know? <laughs> but I'm like, but it'd be great if it was this song. <laughs> awesome. So, um, I think I tried one time like singing over YOLO, the instrumental. Yeah. Trying to find my own melody or like oh, something yeah. else. So, I, I mean, it's, 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 it's hard time wise, but yeah. I, I, I miss creating music anymore. How's, how's the songwriting going? Uh, there's a lot of fragments. A lot of. Because what I do more now is uh, I'll improvise over backing tracks. Okay. Um, some some just kind of stock backing tracks off of YouTube. Some stuff that uh, instrumentals from handmade. I'll play over that. Mm. And just let mm. whatever happens happen. Sometimes I'll I will create a backing track and play over. It. So there's a lot of improvisation going on. Yeah. No real solid song stuff going on. Got it. I don't know, man. I'm just enjoying having fun playing guitar. And yeah, yeah. Having known somebody's watching it. <laughs> as far as songwriting goes, eh, not so much. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because I remember at one point in my life for a few years, I considered myself, I am a songwriter. Oh, yeah. I really did. I'm Me a songwriter. Too. I'm a singer songwriter. I'm not the best singer. I'm not the best writer, but I'm doing it. Yeah. You know, and I'm putting out my thoughts and, and my my emotions and my melodies. And it's, it, it's, it's cool to do, yeah. but when you see like, you know, bands that they're doing it, it's, there's, of course, there's like, you're in all of them, but every now and then a little bit of envy, well, at least for me. Yeah. Cause they did it. Yeah. They're doing it. Yeah. I, I yeah. always intended to make another, another album and, uh, the one I made was, I was just making it for my family for Christmas, mm. but it ended up being decently recorded so i'm like all right i'll just put it out there and i'm like oh, i'll make another one it's been a couple years mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to do man yeah for sure it's hard to do other stuff's been going on too do you, you want to share stuff i mean there's the my youtube channel okay <laughs> and traveling and work i mean it's just uh other avenues have been explored but, you know yeah it's easier being a musician when you don't really have a lot of other stuff going on in life, right? Yeah. Super easy when there's nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's, is that what being a mus musician is? There's nothing else to do. Yeah, that's what you can focus on. I'll just make some music. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but it's crazy because like a lot of these bands, well, it's not the same for everyone, but a lot of the bands that I've been seeing, they perform with other bands that perform mm -hmm. with other bands and like supporting acts as well, not supporting acts, but supporting as a drummer, supporting as a bassist. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot that, or they, they have, yeah, same thing, their own thing, then they support another band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really kind of grinding it out, really making it uh, paying their dues, man, paying their dues. But some some bands pay their dues, and that's all they do. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're trying to kind of help those bands out. Get yeah, them out um, legitimately, I think the both of us, our our heart is really to kind of make bands as big as they can be, as big as we can help them to be, to the extent that we can. I mean, yeah, they can't all be bandmade, and I can't help all the bands like I did bandmade. <laughs> Please don't shit on me. Here we go again. But um, we're, we're trying to do what we can. Yeah. Man. You know. Um, uh, you know. I I know I put videos out of bands that only a couple hundred people are going to watch, but 
out of those couple hundred people, if two or three of them are like, thank you, I never heard of this band. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm thrilled, man. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's some more ears that, that are on that band that weren't on it before. So. Uh, see, I'm not that grateful. I'm like, no, I would need more. <laughs> more people need to watch this <laughs> and i'm i'm kind of being funny about it but also kind of serious <laughs> i'm like why aren't you people watching this <laughs> right but yeah man i mean it's so okay here's maybe uh a, a final question to ask you before this goes on too long because it can yeah. yeah um having come here and having seen these bands in person in the venues that they have yeah and selling their merch as they are at the end of shows and interacting with fans on the level that they are how has that kind of changed your your view or your feeling or i mean just you know what's changed in you from that experience so, okay so when i say somebody clues me into the, if it's you or somebody else says hey check out this band i look at it and they might have an amazing video like a really good video that looks like it was high production so that to me puts them up here if i love the music and the video is great they're like they're they're a huge band in my mind because yeah. they're that big musically yeah and they got the video to back up then i come here and see them and i've never been in a venue in the states that was as small as these venues you know and it was shocking because asterism incredibly huge talented band three-piece yeah. band and there wasn't, I mean, it was 150 capacity venue and it wasn't, wasn't full. I'm like, why isn't this venue full, man? Right. And, uh, you know, even uh, Sai Sega, they had the venue was pretty well packed, but it still wasn't that large of a venue, you know? Right. So that reminds me that even though their talent is on another level, their exposure is still very minimal. Yeah. And, uh, whatever we can do or anybody watching this can do to help get on get on twitter or instagram you know watching us talk about them is great but you need to go watch them yeah give them a like give them a shout out buy their merch buy their albums merch. don't just stream first of all uh give us a like and a subscribe and then go do that stuff <laughs> shameless promotion i i, I he said it <laughs> We all can't be the guy that got band made <laughs> noticed. <laughs> yeah, the weight of glory does humble me and keep me low. But um, yeah, man, I'm I subscribe. I, I, <laughs> where's Rankin? Wait, wait, he was here just yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, it's um, for me when I went to some shows in January, um, and then seeing them work their asses off like after the show as well and yeah. just trying to interact and connect yeah. and like just trying to again like you they're they're bands and they're artists but they're also business people they have businesses yeah. they have livelihoods and i think my seeing that at least for me it just made me realize man they they're not these figures beyond and just creating these lovely pieces of work i mean they're, they're, they're people. people yeah they're yeah there you they're go tiny people <laughs> but play. We're not that tiny. <laughs> <You're so defensive. laughs> I got picked on a lot <laughs> by my family, by my mother. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's they're, they're they're people for sure. And no, it, uh, it was incredible, man. I I saw I met Asterism at the show before the show. Uh, Mio and you were outside chilling before the show, and I got to meet them, and they were just happy to have people there. And then uh, I got to meet all three of them after the show, and I got thanked. Yeah. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you. But they're super happy to just have the fans there. Yeah. And that just, you know, it, it didn't it didn't take them off the pedal, so I had them on. It just, I don't know how. It, they're made out of clay versus maybe marble. Maybe. There's a humanity, right? Maybe it, brought me closer to them as opposed to bringing them down as far as they're oh you were raised on a pedestal yeah okay like I, the appreciation they showed to me was was like shocking like what mm. that's awesome because you go see a bigger band 
Sometimes we'll talk to you after the show. You yeah. might see somebody in flames. Justin, that. Justin, in, in, <laughs> Taylor. I get it. I get it. I've been Anders there. from In Flames <laughs> talked to some people after the show, and he's very grateful. But you don't get that a lot. And so when you have a band you admire wholeheartedly, look you in the eye and say thank you. Yeah. That's a, it's an amazing thing, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, one of the things my mom taught me is be grateful for what you get. <laughs> always say thank you to someone who gives you something and yeah. these bands have given so much to me um and they do man they bring a lot of color to uh to a world that can be pretty bleak and they really fill up your your soul in ways that nothing else can and for that i mean i, I would want to give everything i could to them you know and, and help them out and just say hey thank you here's more please continue you know travel on carry on yeah, yeah, yeah. i so. agree man I've had, if I don't listen to Man Made every day, I get, I don't, I'm not right. I need to hear it. I get upset. <laughs> how, how many years has it been with Man Made? Like, it's only been like two. Two years. Yeah. Um, I think two. Yeah. 2021? Two years. I had my long hair. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been like a couple of years. Yeah. So, like, before that. Yeah. Some random guy is talking to People us. watching will know more than I do because I, I don't remember anything. Yeah. Not long enough. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's been five five years now for me. Yeah. So they're definitely family. Changed yeah. my life. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for them, honestly. This would. <laughs> it's pretty so crazy. You're welcome again. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> it would probably be a bad idea if we had a channel together. I don't, I don't think I would survive. <laughs> actually, if Scott were actually here, I wouldn't survive either. <laughs> uh, awesome. I'm considering a YouTube channel with my dog. <laughs> it would get more views, I'm sure. <laughs> no offense. Oh, shit. That's true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I put my dog's in every video, I'd get more views. <laughs> There's an idea. We get more shot uh, All right. Well, you know, right. I've, I've actually got to go home to that dog. And yep. uh, I, I wish we could hang out all night and just talk. Yeah, man. man. It was good seeing you, though. And uh, we'll, we'll find a time where that can actually happen, man. That'd be great. Yeah. So thank you for letting me see you. I, I am thankful. I'm glad I was able to improve your life tonight. Just call me Van, mate. Just call me Van. Yeah. And with that, thanks, everybody. I'm really sorry for ruining the whole video. I really am. I had a couple of beers. Um, yeah. Blame it on the beer, right? Sure. It's the beer. It's the beer. It's the, it... Okay. But uh, yeah, Ryan, have a safe trip back home. Peter, you too. Home, yes. Literally, <laughs> like. <laughs> I have a little farther to go, but I'll get there. About 20 minutes away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, we wanted to have at least one video of us just talking and sharing some stuff. Yeah. Um, and thank you guys for watching as always. But uh, you want to say something to your, your people, your peeps? No. All right. I have nothing to say to your peeps either. <laughs> but then your you. peeps are probably my peeps too. <laughs> I see a lot of crossover. You know who you are. Peeps. <laughs> but yeah thanks guys thank you everybody uh, it's really cool to have Ryan here in Japan we're at a ramen shop we just finished eating and yeah. Um, yeah that was fun I enjoyed it very much short as it was but uh, will not be the last conversation yeah we'll carry on with this guy for sure alright <laughs> uh, keep on supporting bandmate all the bands you love and do what you can to just um, yeah get him out there get him out there All right. All right, guys, thanks so much. Go watch all the bands we mentioned. Yes. Uh, links in the description below. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. Maybe not. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys.